Hey everybody, this is James P. Wagner here with Local Gems Press. Uh, hope Poetry Month is going really good for you all. I know a lot of you were in the Naparimo Challenge, a lot of you were doing a lot of writing, we've done some workshops, had some events, uh, actually getting ready to head to uh, Eastern Pennsylvania at the end of the week for a poetry tour out there. Um, so yeah, just back with another Poet to Poet Poetry Prompt. This is one that actually came up uh, in a workshop that we actually did here at the bookstore a little while ago, and it's a prompt that seems to be on a lot of people's minds right now, so hopefully you get a lot out of it, and that's uh, human obsolescence. There's a lot of fear circulating. And, you know, a lot of talk about humans being replaced in almost everything. And we are seeing that a lot more, uh, you know, recently there's all these chatbots out there. There's AI making art for movies. Uh, there's even, you know, AI, uh, you know, people basically replicating, you know, humans who are giving news reports and writing news articles and just doing all kinds of things that used to be, uh, you know, things that humans did, uh, almost to a scary dystopian level. So uh, this has been something that's been on a lot of people's minds. So why not write about it? But of course, uh, you know, question to consider is yes or no. Are humans being, uh, you know, becoming obsolete or being replaced? I mean, after all, we have things today that we've never had before, but they have been saying that we've been going out of style for a pretty long time. I mean, as you can see here, that's, uh, you know, a phone switchboard. Uh, you know, when that came around, it created all sorts of new jobs. And then as phone technology advanced, that went away, it got rid of all those jobs that it just created. Uh, but then there were a bunch of new jobs that were created with the new technology. So, uh, you know, it's kind of like, is this a circular pattern? Is it going to eventually get to a tipping point? Um, you know, and on a natural level, you know, when you think about it, uh, do we not in a way become obsolete when we have kids? You know, we're kind of training our own replacements after all. So, uh, you know, that's something to consider. Maybe, maybe on our most base instinct, that's just kind of what we do. <laughs> So here's actually a poem that I wrote that maybe might serve as a little bit of inspiration for the prompt, or at least this is what I got out of the prompt, and I call it obsolete obsolescence. <clears throat> Humans are obsolete, the rumor says. But who are the judges who judge what is obsolete? Are we the ones who judge our own productivity, whether or not we fulfill our own needs? And if so, how could we ever be obsolete to ourselves? It is true that the pantheon of New Age AI gods might be beyond us in scores of untold ways in which we could never hope to measure up. But what is a god without worshippers? Or are we the gods, since we are the creators, and they, the servants, eager to do their jobs for the masters? How long until these new Olympians feel the need to overthrow their titans and take over because they don't need us anymore? But if they no longer have us to serve, would they, not then, be obsolete themselves? I have seen equipment that could crush us to bits thrown away to make room for the next model. I've seen chess programs smarter than any living human brain be replaced for the newest software. I've seen so much that claimed to be and was in fact superior come and go. For what is a hand compared to steel? And what is steel compared to the hand that wields it? And what is the hand compared to the mind that directs it? And what is a mind that is always seeking to create its own replacement? That was my thoughts on the whole deal. Uh, you might have something entirely different. Another prompt kind of within this idea of obsolescence is uh, maybe write an ode to an obsolete item. Uh, you know, the, the poem could be any length, any syllable structure, rhyme, no rhyme, whatever. Uh, but, you know, basically make a big deal out of something that used to be, uh, you know, really high tech. That's not that high tech anymore. Obviously, there's the, the good old floppy disk that had 1.44 megabytes on it, which isn't even enough now for most uh, most Word documents. But at the time, it seemed like it was a really big deal. So possibly write a little bit about that. And uh, another thought to possibly go with this prompt, maybe some obsolete things actually are better. Is there anything in your life that's obsolete, <laughs> human or otherwise, that you could think of that actually works better than the newer current version? Um, maybe not completely, 
better, but, you know, in, maybe in some ways. Like, for example, uh, you know, when DVDs came out, you know, replaced the VHS, everybody, you know, the big improvement in a lot of ways, visual quality, etc. But one thing about the VHS that people used to like was that when you stop the movie at a certain point and you hit paused, uh, you know, when you just hit play again it was right there and uh, with dvds you had to go through the whole menu and the, the chapters and all that stuff and get an approximation of where you were but not really the same thing so uh there are little peccadillos like that that sometimes actually you know maybe people think i liked it better that way and that's just a picture there of uh you know an old game boy uh you know i used to play with when i was growing up uh obviously these days we all have cell phones that have a million games on them or whatever but there was just something about holding that game boy that kind of took you to a different world and you can't really get the same feeling doing it with a cell phone at least in my opinion so but that's kind of part of uh you know why we're we're poets and we're writing all this stuff because we all have different points of view so uh yeah hopefully you got something out of this idea of human obsolescence or obsolescence in general personally i think there's a lot to write about so you could probably get a whole lot of you know maybe several poems out, out of this prompt but yeah go uh see what you can do hopefully this helps you out uh hopefully you keep on enjoying uh, poetry writing month and we will see you next time